Good morning everybody. So, weird start to the day. As you would have just seen, I have just booked two nights at Bees Craig. Um, for the week right. I actually went to Bees Craig at Christmas time with all the family. They had a Christmas winter wonderland light type kind of a show. I'll put in a wee clip of it here. But yeah, um, we'll see what it's like. I'm just heading down the street. I've got a few things I need to do and nip in and get some snacks for you. Obviously said we've got to be arriving a little bit later than what we've arrived. Um, so Jim's just actually went away into reception to see if he can check in there or if they've already put the barrier code and that in these wee key boxes for us. Okay, so the stuff's all obviously already in the key boxes for us. Happening. The key's already in the box, just to put it out earlier on, because I said I was coming a wee bit later. Right, so we are just down there. We are in Hazel Spinny 3. So we're right in the middle. So we are just at the service point just now. Just filling up with some water. And Jim's just checking out all the other stuff. We have arrived and it is 
breathing now. Um, we're just going to get hooked up. I'm going to get everything set up, get the table and that set up. And we'll maybe go a walk and have a wee look and see if it's all about. But it is amazing. There we go. It is always all touched up for two nights. And we've just got to go a wee walk around the site. Yeah. Rubbish. And the first one? Rubbish. Grey water, drinking water, chemical toilet, water on point. Chemical disposal and water on point. So we are in Hazel Spinney. So Blue Bank, I take it it's just that bit, special. Mm. I know, there's no, numbers up there. Toilet block, and I'm pretty sure that's where I wanted to be. Alder Grove is where I wanted to be. Oh, look, butterflies. There's so there's more bins, more grey water, drink point, and another chemical. So that's quite good. So that's Cherry Hollow. That's another big bit up here. Clear area, animal attraction, block, visitor centre. Look at the caravan. Oh. Outside my window is everything pale and cold? Seem to pick up my phone It's been ringing all day long Behind these clothes I know the sun will be But today's raining So be patient with me I'll be right Somehow I must be Somewhere the sky is blue Place. Berwick Law and Bass Rock. During the Carboniferous period, Scotland sat near the equator with a hot climate and shallow tropical seas, similar to the Bahamas today. Scotland was part of a large supercontinent and was still attached to North America. This supercontinent was being stretched out allowing the molten rock of the mantle underneath to rise to the surface, creating volcanoes. East Lothian had many active volcanoes, the remains of which can be seen today in the forms of two well-known landmarks, Berwick Law and Bass Rock. Yeah. 
probably buy a Ricky Rex. No toilet block and I think that wee grassy pack is where the tents would go. Well used by looks at. So that would make a bed and then there's bunk beds. Oh, there it is. Push. Is that a kitchen? A toilet? No? No, no kitchen, no toilet. Then there's another one that looks bigger. Double. So that is for six. Two bunk beds. Two bunk beds. Double beds. Double bed. Absolutely gorgeous. Still a little bit cold, a little bit blue skies. So we're just going to head for a walk. just actually took us back down to where we came last night which was down that road up there so we're going that way and we'll go around the rock The reservoir, known as Bees Craig's Lock, was built by German prisoners of war Clay and stone were used to build the dam wall this stone was quarried down from Ricketon Hill and brought down the slopes to the site using a winch-powered railway. By 1918, the 8 hectare reservoir, holding 82 million gallons of water, began serving as a local water supply and continued to do so for the next 55 years. Over the winter of 2014, nearly 13,000 stone cobbles were replaced along the face of the wall. Each stone weighing between 5 and 30 kilograms was replaced by hand, taking over 1,000 hours of work. So this is the top of the dam. This is the top of the dam now.
it is Sunday and it is time for us to head home. Um, it is really windy, it was really windy last night. It's just started to rain. Um, we were meant to be planning on going to the Kelpies um, for a wee look, but whether or not we do that, um, we'll wait and see. Jim's just nipped up to reception to hand in the key. It is really good for kids and families. Um, there is loads of wee walks that you can do. We done one of the shortest walks yesterday. In fact, we kind of made up our route because of my son. Also, an animal attraction bit. Oh my god, I don't know if you can hear how windy that actually is. Um, we were planning and going up to the KLPs for a look on the road home, but with this weather, I'm not too sure that we will. I've got my snacks for the journey. We're just going to go up and dump the water waste, and then we'll make the decision and see where we definitely going. recommend this place. Um, we've loved it here and obviously if my knee was a wee bit better it would have been better because we've been able to have done longer walks. <laughs> Kelpies are 30 metre high horse head sculptures depicting Kelpies. Located between Falkirk and Grangemouth, standing next to a new extension to the 4th and Clyde Canal. The sculptures were designed and sculptured by Andy Scott and were completed in October 2013. The sculptures were opened to the public in April 2014. As part of the project, they have their own visitor centre and sit beside a newly developed canal, turning pool and extension. They're free to see and there's some eating places round about as well. A great wee day out. Definitely want to come back and see them all lit up at night. They simply are just stunning. and if you've liked this video don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification button so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks again, see you on the next one.